<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Baxter's Buzz. I am your host, Baxter E. Hall. I am super excited. Today, I have the founder of Thrive and Shine, Sharonda N. Simmons. Hello, Sharonda. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good, good. Welcome back to my brain. Welcome to my frequency. Uh, enter at your own risk. Today is an episode of Mindfulness Mondays, and we are um, going to jump right into it, okay? So we started talking offline about mm -hmm. baseball, right? So, yeah. I, so I'm in sales, uh, and a lot of it is, you know, you play the averages, right? And what may look like a, a not a great average for some may look really good for, for a salesperson, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we were talking about, and I was making the parallel between like the failures in life versus the failures in baseball and how sometimes you can hit a ball right on the screws as they call it in, in baseball, but you hit it to the wrong part of the park. Yeah. And, and, and so the guy, the center fielder is, is so fast. He's out there. It's an out. Now you go to a different part the next day, that same ball, same distance is a home run, right? That's kind of like life where um, we think we, you know, as soon as we think we've mastered something, as soon as we think that we figured it out, there's a new pitcher pitching or mm. we're in a new ballpark, right? And there's always these sort of subtle adjustments that one has to make in order to kind of stay on top of their game, right? Yep. And then we were talking about just uh, alignment and you kind of made the um, reference to a, a workshop that you had done recently around, uh, what around did you alignment, call yeah. alignment check. So pretty alignment much everything check. that you were saying. So everything that we're talking about offline is really good for this conversation just because we're six months into the year. And so it's time for like an alignment check. It's time to think about, okay, maybe what worked for the last half of the year might not work for this latter part. And so I think every human being needs like an alignment check. So think about a car, you know, every, however many miles you need to go, you need to take it into the shop. You need to get it checked out. You need to make sure that your wheels are in alignment. You need to make sure that you know, your steering wheels in alignment, that your oil is changed. And sometimes if you're moving, you need to make sure that you've got like winter tires. And sometimes people change out their summer tires. So what might work in one terrain doesn't work in the next. Same thing we were talking about the baseball field. What might work in one space doesn't work for the next. And I think that for so many of us, including myself, we want to continue to make what used to work, work in new seasons, or we mm. feel like we're failing. And it's not that we're failing. It's just that we need new strategy for the new environment, for mm. the new season. Because sometimes you don't realize that things have changed um, as drastically as they as they have, right? And um, yeah, your your um, you may have it may have worked yesterday, may have worked last week. Today is a new day, and you have to kind of give each day its own sort of respect. And and it's it's, yeah. it's a blessing because you you can't sleepwalk through this thing. You really need to be present. Right. And not take things for mm -hmm. granted. Um, for for those that are, um, you know, finishing up the, the quarter, uh, you know, there may be some fiscal years ending. There may be, you know, you're halfway through the new year. You've set these goals and, um, you know, you're trying to figure out, how, you know, is it still feasible? Maybe um, I would just encourage folks to um, just work on the, the small adjustments. And um, most importantly, just keep getting back up to bat, right? And, and making sure that uh, you keep uh, taking your swings. Don't ever get so discouraged that you're not up there sort of taking your, your swings. And uh, eventually, you know, you'll connect. No, I love that. We had a conversation offline. We were talking about like mission statements and vision statements. And I think you know, every business has a mission or a vision statement, which is pretty much their snapshot of this is what we hope to do in the future. And this is how we do it on a day to day basis. But it simply is like it's like their GPS. So like going back 
our analogy. I think it's important for every person to take a minute to pause, whether that is the end of the week, the end of the month, every season. So, you know, going from spring into summer, or summer into fall, and take a little bit of time to sort of evaluate the areas of life that are really important to you. So it could be your family, your friends, your finances, your, your fitness, and where do you want to go in those areas of life and really mapping it out. And so it doesn't have to be this like extensive, you know, strategic plan that you think about from an organizational standpoint, but I think the principles can still apply. What are the things that are going to make you the best person or get you to your ultimate destination? But if you don't ever take time to like, think about that, to map it out, to talk to people about it, to be in spaces that are helping your professional development, if reading, journaling, like if you're not taking any time to cultivate yourself, then where's your, where are you going? Like you're your biggest investment. And so you're squandering like the resources of yourself if you don't sometimes take that time to invest and to really do that alignment check. But again, like yeah. that going from Detroit to Chicago, you might know how to get there if you've taken that trip a thousand times, but say it's a new journey, it's a new destination, you actually have to put the GPS in. So you've got to know like what is the ultimate end goal or you're kind of floating in the wind. And so mm -hmm. my encouragement to people would be that as we're at the second half of the year is that you take you know a half an hour, it could be a walk, it could be a conversation with friends, it could be typing something up on your laptop. It could be talking to a mentor and really reflecting and evaluating on where you want to be as just a human being before the year is out. And maybe you categorize that, categorize that by areas of life, but there's nothing worse than to like keep moving and to not have like a vision or to not have like any sort of like sense of direction. And so even though we might fail a little bit or strike out like you were talking about beforehand, just the ability to keep going and to know that even if I fall, even if I've got a reroute or detour, if I've got the ultimate goal or vision in mind, then I'm all right. Like if I know where I'm going, even if I fall, even if I stumble, if I've got the sense of direction in terms of like, what is my purpose for this season? I'm going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the one thing I would add is, you know, we have to be honest with ourselves and say, okay, what is wrong? What what adjustments mm -hmm. need to be made, right? Because if the, the if I'm not getting my desired results, then I need to change something. What does that look like? Yeah. What does that look like? So Sharonda, um, for coaching and consulting, where can folks find you? So you can find me at Sharonda and Simmons on LinkedIn, or you can go to my website www.thrivein, the letter N, shinenow.com. And I'm happy to do any sort of support, consulting, introductory calls with organizations or individuals who might need a little bit of support. Perfect, perfect. Well, uh, another great Mindfulness Monday. Thank you for your contributions and thank you all for checking us out. Please like, subscribe, share and all that stuff. And until next time, peace. Bye.